The story starts on a 10 hour train ride from Chatham to Cochrane. It's a small northern industrial town with various stores, businesses, and a lake in the middle of the town. The coolest part about this town is that it's the home of the famous Tim Horton. My summer home was called Wade Lake. I lived with close to 30 other people, excluding my supervisors, in a big bunkhouse. This was for a youth employment program put together by the Ministry of Natural Resources. Our main objective was to work on a fish spawning bed project. This was a project that was worked on from summer to summer. It was my group's job to haul rocks down a trail, clean them, bury them, and finally dump them at a location in a lake. It wasn't an easy job because there was rain every day, which turned the job site into knee-deep mud. We also cleared trails at some parks and at garbage dumps. Whenever we were camping, we always had fun talking around the campfire. The entire group took a trip to Moosonee, which was all the way near James Bay. I was selected to be in a small group to do some trail and property maintenance work for the week, which was a great experience. The only exception was how much daylight we had and how cold the mornings were. This photograph was taken at 9.30 at night. We also worked on projects at our home base. One of our projects was to fulfill our patriotic duty as Canadians and raise some flagpoles. The job involved digging five foot holes, some tricky maneuvering, and of course raising the flag. Everybody I worked and lived with became my friends. This was the first time I had ever been accepted by so many people before. It almost seemed to be like a fresh start because people accepted me for who I was. We all got along at work and we always had fun playing games, hanging out in each other's rooms, and occasionally being treated to a movie. Everybody loved to play Risk. We went on a long road trip to Penbrook, near Ottawa, for a jamboree with all the other camps. The van I was in ended up going off the road because the driver fell asleep. We stopped one foot in front of a tree. Some people went to the hospital, but nobody was hurt. We didn't go to the jamboree, but still managed to have fun as a group. We went to Timmins and a local farm show for that weekend instead. When it came time to leave, most of the group took the train home. Finally, it came down to only myself and one of my friends. I was helping him carry his junk around the train station. When it came time to say goodbye, we hugged. It was tough because at that point, I knew the whole experience was over. 